Okay, so the Git remote Sally started is called science guesses. Enter the command to clone this remote name, your clone, my quizzes. So the name is my quizzes, and then the location is science quizzes. Right, let's try that out. Git clone. Right, and then the name is my quizzes. into my quizzes done right that's all that it asks so it stipulates here git informs us that it's copying everything from science quizzes into the my quizzes directory my quizzes is your local copy of the science quizzes git project if you commit changes to the project here study will not know about them all right what's up next Now this little pop-up doesn't want to drop down. Just refresh. Still support. Okay. Next on git remote dash v. Git teamwork. Git remote dash v. Nice work. We have a clone of Sally's remote on our computer. One thing that Git does behind the scenes when you clone science quizzes is give the remote address the name or region so that you can refer so one thing that git does behind the scenes when you clone science quizzes is give the remote address the name or region so one thing that git does behind the scenes when you clone science quizzes is give the remote address the name or region so that you can refer to it more conveniently in this case sally's remote is origin you can see a list of a git projects remotes with the command git remote dash v. So using the file navigator, examine the contents of the clone git project. There are a few quiz files here, which we will be working with during this lesson. Open a file of your code of your choice in the code editor. I'll choose physics. Right there. Okay, run. Change directories into the MyQuiz directory. Enter this command. Okay, so CD MyQuizzes. Right. Enter Git Remote V. Does it say? Origin. So it's got the origin of the file. So notice the output. So enter git remote dash v to list the remotes. Notice the output. Git lists the name of the remote origin as well as its location. Git automatically names this remote origin because it refers to the remote repository of the origin. However, it is possible to safely change its name. The remote listed is listed twice, once for fetch and once for push. We'll learn more about these later in the lesson. Okay, so git teamwork, git fetch. After you clone science quizzes, you had to run off to teach a class. Now that you're back at your computer, there's a problem. What if? While you were teaching, Sally changed the science quizzes Git project in some way. If so, your clone will no longer be up to date. Any easy way to see, an easy way to see if changes have been made to the remote and bring the changes down to your local copies with Git fetch. 
This command will not merge changes from the remote into your local repository. It brings those changes onto what's called a remote branch. Learn more about how this works below. Enter this command, cd my quiz, which changes the directory, right? Fetch any new changes Sally made. Uh, fetch any new changes Sally may have made to the remote. Fetch 